Well, we started off not it, not how we wanted to, continuing a goal in the first two or three minutes. But the way we responded to the responded to the goal was uh, kind of showed our character for the game, and uh, it really boosted our momentum once we got my first goal and then my second goal, and then it really carried us through the game. Uh, you've been just creating a ton of chances offensively, even on, on Thursday against Seattle Pacific. Didn't find the net, but had a lot of chances. Uh, how did it feel getting those to go in today? Uh, it felt really good, especially with a big game against Simon Fraser this next week. Uh, I, feel, I feel really good going into that game. Talk about the players around you. Guillaume Cremer always uh, seems to be in, in the action when there's a goal score. Talk about those guys. Yeah, Guillaume Cremer, he's had a fantastic season so far. He's playing really well. And starting at the GNAC, we started to find this chemistry between us and we're starting to combine really well and we're starting to score goals uh, pretty often between both of us. Uh, it's good to come in, you know, get some minutes. Um, uh, came into the game really excited and to make that result and make the impact that I did for the team, it's, it's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. Talk about the cross that came in. It was sort of a set piece. Guillaume played a great ball curling towards the back post and, and you just timed your run well. Uh-huh. Guillaume, yeah, um, uh, his services are quality, and so to have that ball played in like that, it just makes my job and everyone else's job so much easier. And so, uh, fortunately, I was able to top on it. You went into the game and, and impacted the game offensively, but you were in the game as an outside back. Talk about how the defense performed after you guys gave up such an early goal. Uh, you were you were pretty clean the rest of the way. Yeah, um, we never want to concede a goal that early on, and I think that kind of set the, the tone for the rest of the game. And uh, we stepped it up a bit and realized um, we have to work harder and make sure that our possession is it plays out well for us. So we did well after that first goal was conceded. How do you think this will set you up going into a tough game against Simon Fraser? You only have one game next week, but now you have a win under your belt going into that. Oh, it's it's a great feeling. Um, we bounced back. We uh, started off 0-4, and you know to have five wins under our belt going into Simon Fraser, especially after a big win like this, it's a good feeling. It gives us a lot of confidence to go over there to Vancouver and uh, perform our best. It was against, I think, a St. Martin's team that's being underestimated a little bit. I don't think that, that their record is, is a reflection of the quality that they have um, in their team and in their coaching staff. But definitely not happy with how we started the game. Very, very sloppy goal to give up, and then it becomes an uphill battle. Fortunately, the guys reacted very well, and I think that in the first half we saw some of the best soccer that we've seen um, on this field. And we made, we made the ball move around very, very well. St. Martin's came out, you know, pressuring us in the second half. The game became a little bit more sloppy, but, um, you know, still happy that we were able to get on the score sheet again, or on the stat sheet again. Good GNAC win for us. I think that the guys deserve or still deserve a lot of credit after the, 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 the start of the season that we've had, starting 0-4, bouncing back to 4-4. Four, four and four. Our loss against SPU was not a good loss on, on Thursday, but we found a way to rebound again, and now we're 500 again. We've got nine points out of 12 in the GNAC, and it's, it's up for the taking this year. Like We definitely have a lot of work to do still, especially, I think, defensively. Offensively, we're starting to click. Um, I think we're starting to find the right lineup. Nacho came in today and did a very, very good job offensively. Quick touches, dribbling players. So you know, credit credit to the guy for coming in off the bench. But I think that we saw we saw 16 or 17 players on the field today. It's the first time this season that that many players see the field, and it's good. It's good for everyone's confidence that they can get touches um, and that they can get into into game situations. So very pleased with this win. Another week, another player with a first career goal. Another senior at that. Uh, Aiden Raj today finds the net. He's the third senior this season to score his first career goal, and he came off uh, the bench had a big uh, impact defensively and offensively. So we gave Aiden a shot and one of his first touches was was a fantastic goal of a very, very good free kick from Guillaume. So it's good that we, we have guys that can come off the bench and, and have that kind of impact. I mentioned Nacho already. Eli Williams came back um, onto the field in the second half, had a good positive impact. I think that Dana worked his tail off. Chad Triplett saw the field for 10 minutes, which was good for him after, after an injury. So like I said, very happy that so many players were able to contribute today. And it's good that it's good that our senior class or, or that our leadership um, group is is uh, is contributing the way they are.